unprecedented sat Sunday recording. We went to the furniture store and I purchased a chair and a couch. And they brought me two big ass couches, which they best basically overcharged me for. And so now they're gonna have to come get this shit again. They just dropped it off. Earns on the horn, taking care of business. It could be in a half an hour. What did they say? She said it'll be here Tuesday. Exchange out, you'll have the credit back to your card. So Good. what the fuck am I gonna do with this until Tuesday? Hang out. Omar's gonna slobber all over it. I told him that. I said we got a dog. She said the earliest the truck comes Tuesday. I'm like, I'm about, you can flag your boy down. He's probably three streets over with the truck. But yeah, so. I'm gonna have to straight up cover this with something. Just put a big sheet over it? I guess. I, mean, I don't even think it's your responsibility to even fucking order it. I know. Like, brought me a big ass couch I didn't even order. This is my life. A hundred percent though, that chair. Is and even when he walked in, I was like, I didn't think it was that big. He's like, oh yeah, it's about the same size. I'm like, there's no way I would have sat in a chair and then been like, give me that one too. It's the same size. Yeah. <laughs> Fucked. All right, so Tuesday. Tuesday we get a new couch. Right now I get a loner couch. Then the living room would be fine. This couch yeah, it would be totally fine. Chair. Yeah, it'd be perfect. It'll be what I actually ordered. When's my money coming back? They said. I don't know. She, you know, it takes the you know three five day process. But she said you'll see it back. Overcharge me. Overcouch me. Oh, You're comfortable though. Yeah. I will say yeah. that. Hmm? Oh, man, nothing's ever. Nothing's ever easy. Yeah. Good morning. Babysitting this till Tuesday. Oh, gonna cover this corner. Did you see Omar doing something to it. Going back out. See you later, bud. See you in a couple hours. You're done with your third sunbathing session of the morning. Things are not crazy, but the house is still not ready. I'm not done. I did get the, Gotta get the drawing area ready today. So I can get back to drawing. Clothes and shit everywhere. Downstairs is still kind of a wreck. I gotta clean it up, get it all ready. Leave my clothes everywhere. Sorry, mom. One sock on, one sock off. <sighs> still have all this shit everywhere. These random things. I don't have my toy shelf anymore, so it's pretty much it. Trash, trash. No more back. We still have this to do today. So, shoe room needs to get done today. So, that's what we're gonna do. Ernie is sick. Uh, he doesn't feel good. He said he was sick all night, so see this wish him well hopefully he makes it if not i'll be hiring soon and um yeah uh pretty much i'm gonna run down to the weed shop because i'm pretty much out of weed i'm gonna come back here i'm gonna start organizing and then i'm probably gonna paint a little bit today if i can make the time so we got shoes we got shoes to talk about so uh i'm gonna go get really dressed and ready because i can't wear a sweatshirt it's literally like 95. Job, Omar. Fuck yeah, dude. Good job. Got one more. Ah, so close. Did you get into something? Something on your face. You got something on your face. Excuse me, sir. Um, you have something on your face. Oh, that's not there anymore. I'll be back. Don't lick that. I don't know what you're looking at. How's it going? Good. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Yeah, you too. Uh, we had to come back to the apartment and make sure everything's out because this has to be, God, we have pillows for days. I don't have any gloves and I gotta get this fucking grass pad out of here, so. Shout out to the socks left behind. All right, let's get the bug out of here and back to the house. Oh, you been sleeping? Oh, he's been sleeping. Hello, do you want to go outside? I bet you do. Hey, uh, 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 not the front door. Yeah, back door. Come on, have fun. Oh, you got a rope. Jesus, full chain, dies. I almost left Doobie's fucking dog car in. Boomerang. Left some bacon at home, man. Hang out 
of the week. Some wax too, you know, always little orange glue mints, Cinderella 99 cross with the white. What's up? We need to, uh, we're learning love on the beverage eyes. We need to motherfucking order some drinks. Let's order some drinks, dude. Let's order some drinks, dude. Okay? Okay. So today is kind of getting away from me a little bit. It's uh, running downtown, took way longer than it needed to. I have not even started on the shoe room. The drawing area and everything's in shambles basically still uh i'm trying to get settled into my new house it's been great so far omar absolutely loves it i like it there's a couple of things the washer isn't working all of a sudden uh, i think it worked the other day but then they came to turn on the sprinklers because the front yard is all fucked up now it doesn't work so i gotta get all that shit situated couch frustrations but uh normal stuff you know just regular stuff um oh there's a lot going on uh i've been super busy answering emails uh last week's vlog we touched on some serious shit and i've literally been i'm not gonna say bombarded because that sounds bad i don't want to say bombarded but there's a lot of people out there who've reached out yeah it's actually taken an extra it's, it's taking extra time to respond and give people you know the time of day so i'm um and then also trying to finish planning fund figure out reconstructure reconstructure recon I don't know the tour basically so now that I'm in this house I'm gonna get it settled I should be nice and settled by like the end of this week the next two weeks hopefully we'll figure all this shit out make whatever amendments changes and then go with the next thing so but right now everything's still crazy just fucking up in the air uh, there's a lot of shoes coming out there's not a lot of stuff that I've been getting lately I uh I mean I still obviously love every shoe that I get but lately I haven't been copying really anything Adidas has been kind of slow and you didn't get the other desert rats um there's a bunch of climate cools coming out but there's so many it's really hard to decide which ones to get i like the solar ones i like the black and red and yellow ones i like the parlay ones but there's so many and i haven't i just haven't been focused on it with all the shit going on i haven't gotten anything like that i still have there's nothing that i'm really looking forward to i still have shit coming like yeezys and pharrell's they're just taking fucking forever I'm trying to catch you guys up on everything i think you guys give a fuck about yeah other than that there's not much i'm looking forward to there's the pods the pods whatever you want to call them uh i don't love this rollout honestly i think you know I've, okay so there's going to be like shade about it because they reached out to influencers to do the pod or the pod but the thing that i don't like about adidas well it's not even adidas the thing i don't like about marketing in general I hop. I don't like it when things come off as unauthentic. You know, it's like, it seems to me like they reached out to all these influencers and then they're telling them how to feel about it. You know, it's like once you get this sort of, I don't know, like recognition or whatever, then it kind of changes your opinion, which is, you know, one of the biggest questions I ever get is when I work with Adidas, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, sure. But I just have to be able to keep my opinion. But anyway, uh, the POD, I am interested in checking out because my boy told me they're actually really comfortable. He did say that he thought he was surprised at how comfortable they were, so I do want to check them. But they don't, it's not my favorite look. It's a little futuristic-y, not in the way that I like. I don't know, a lot of the new Adidas stuff is just hybrids of the other models being like patched together, which I'm into some parts, but I'm also, it might be getting away from them in some areas. I don't know, but they are at least trying new things, so I'm not gonna knock them for that. Other than that, I really I can't think of anything else that I have in my mind that's like, oh shit. There's stuff coming, but it's not till like July. Like, B we're still waiting on BYW lows and all this other shit. I don't think so as far as shoes go. But anyway, as far as shoes do go, I did wear a pair of shoes today, and they are a pair we haven't seen. I can't find the box in this fucking nightmare. But I do have the tag still here, which is kind of the real thing to talk about. So I've been talking about these for months. Everybody knows I'm an ultra boost mid fucking psychopath and also a solar yellow psychopath so this is kind of a no-brainer i think everyone in the world knows oh i should get like a podium here here i could do this I could put it on the Ooh, look at that the floating shoe they're two different shoes so it's ultra boost mid now i have theories about this there's like always no goddamn explanation for anything that adidas does but i've put together 
my own theory as I like to do. And my theory is that these are actually prototypes. I think that these were worked on around the same time as the original mid that we got, the very first, which would be the Ronnie Fag. And then what have we gotten? There's not that many mids. There's this, there's the Ronnie Fag. There's two of them, non-native. And then there's the Parlay. This shoe was originally Frankenstein, I guess, together with all of these different kind of things. Like the right shoe made different from one side, the left shoe made from another, on purpose in the sample factory just to put it together and look at it. And I really do think that's why it's flip flop. And the reason that I think it's around the same time is because of the sample sample tag. So this is marketing. This is not a real sample tag. You know, well, I mean, it's not the sample tag that comes on a sample pair. Uh, Adidas is playing on this whole, you know, it didn't release thing, but they're releasing it. It's just a motif, which is cool. I don't hate it or anything, but all the stuff on here that you see, YYA is the factory. You'll see different factories. You'll see different factory codes on sample tags. And then you have the season, which is spring, summer, 17 stage type pullover which is a sock collar the last numbers is, is referring all these numbers are referring to uh, like upc type product name is self-explanatory and the category is a little different so you will see category hzo i don't know what the acronym stands for i have seen it on sample tags so that is normal uh that will change you'll see pdx so hzo has to represent a place usually you see pdx portland um but yeah, I don't know what HZO actually stands for. I, I'm assuming. I want to say Hong Kong, but that doesn't make sense. Um, and then the color is blue, gray, blah, blah, blah. But the date is the real, the real kicker for me, which is July 7th, July 7th, 2016. We didn't get the Ronnie's. I'd pull those out, but everything's still packed up. Uh, we didn't get those until December of 2016. So my real theory, if you put this next to uh, the Ronnie, the run through times, non-natives um, and the Packers it everything is sort of in the same kind of like house like these special projects we talk about I feel like this is just a consortium special project I don't know where the credit goes as far as who worked on what or where anything like that but it does really feel as if this was a concept that helped come up with the mid that we actually did get and this is supposedly the last mid I don't really know where that rumor started but this is supposedly it which could make sense I mean it's all consortium we haven't got anything that's not consortium technically aside from the parlay which just released at 747 it's just interesting it's, in, it's just the shit that i love is just these little backstories but also we get none so i have to make up my own but it's plausible and until someone tells me that i'm wrong i'm right so anyway in the shoe the shoes are flip-flop which is you know my theory they worked on one and the other to see what was capable first thing you'll notice if you have other mids is the knit is different the knit is like way fucking stretchier it's almost like a sportier this is totally like a sportier mesh i don't know if it's prominent or mesh but it's nice like whatever it is it's perfectly fine it doesn't feel weird at all it feels like pk but technically i don't know but it's really really stretchy and just not like the other mids uh some people i've heard complain about putting these on they say that it's super tight and around their ankle i didn't notice that with this pair again this is a very stretchy pair compared to like the aspens aspens i pretty much had to use a shoehorn at first this i can just pull on and today i'm wearing thick socks so i don't i don't i didn't notice colors are all constant throughout the shoes they're just flipped basically vault yellow navy blue and gray with hints of white materials are consistent throughout except for the stripes on the right pair are blue and those are actually leather stripes on both sides whereas the left pair you have more of the painted on fusing type that you see in like the run through time sort of regular consortium insole on the right this different i don't think we've had this one before we might have i can't really remember on the left uh, white laces which some people really didn't like but i have no problem with them and um fit to me true to size 13 is my jam with these i've never tried a 12 and a half in these um i really don't plan on it unless maybe the parlays show up in a 12 and a half but i think 12 is the biggest they got made uh, and as far as those materials go it's just regular stuff for mids it's suede togars suede in the midfoot suede around the laces and then you know your regular pk elastic sock collar but the stitching even in the sock collar on one of these is a little wild like it's made to look sort of sampling like this one looks like it was hand knotted and shit some people are asking which my favorite of the two pair, which the two shoes is. And I really don't know. I like that they're a little flip-flop, but it's not that noticeable. I think it's dope. And I also love consortium hole punches. So with the hole punch and the tongue to remain consistent, fuck with it. Uh, if I had to pick. I don't know. I guess I like the blue hands better, but 
I mean, not really. I love them both equally. I love all my children. That's all there is to it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the shoe. Don't I don't know what happened. I don't know if they sold out. I've really, you know, the shoe world has been very strange lately, and there's a lot of just, I don't know what to call it. It's just kind of annoying to me, like negativity. So I haven't really been paying attention to a lot of shit, so I don't know if um, these sold out. I'm sure if they did, they're not reselling for crazy. Nothing is really reselling for crazy right now, which is also another big hurdle, because you don't even know if you should wait for shit to go on sale or if you should buy it as soon as it comes out you never really know if you're size 13 you're kind of fucked because 13s don't usually make it that far but yeah, speaking of which if you're a 13 you're also fucked on these 4d releases it's not happening that is the day and i'm gonna go finish all of my domesticated life things and i'll see you guys tomorrow all right and it says they've been delivered they haven't been delivered been a long day outside you'll be young and tired